As a man thinks within himself, so he is. What you think about, what I think about, what we believe determines how we conduct our lives. I believe that God made the heavens and the earth and everything in them, including you and me. And because of this, I believe in the intrinsic worth of each individual. I was raised in a Christian home and during medical school, I placed my confidence in Jesus Christ as my Savior and Lord, as the one who died on the cross for my sins and rose victoriously from the grave. I believe that the Bible is the inerrant Word of God and that it lays down the principles that regulate all human activity. My faith in Christ directs my personal and business life. We start every weekly staff meeting with a prayer in Christ's name, thanking God for His blessings and praying for the people who have decided to entrust their care to us. I believe what my mother taught me when she said, don't follow the herd. If you follow the herd, you'll get run over, you'll get stampeded. I believe that you always have to ask why and question conventional thinking. I believe in taking the road less traveled or never traveled is necessary to bring about change. I passionately believe in natural approaches to health. This began in 1988 when my dad underwent emergency heart surgery after a failed angioplasty had torn his main artery in his heart. Two weeks after his surgery, dad called me to his house and gave me a newsletter from Dr. Julian Whitaker, who's an advocate for natural approaches to health. In that newsletter, which was about heart disease, Dr. Whitaker wrote that 15% of angioplasty patients died within the first year of the procedure. 5% of heart bypass patients died within the first year. But patients who simply made dietary changes, lost weight, exercised, and took vitamins and minerals had a mortality rate of only 1%. My dad asked me what I thought, and I told him, that I didn't know anything about this, but wished we had known about it beforehand. Dad then said, this doctor says I need to take vitamins. What type of vitamins do I need to take, son? I looked at Dad like a deer in the headlights. And then I said, Dad, I'm a doctor. What do I know about vitamins? He looked at me straight in the eyes and asked me, will you please find out? Now, I was the oldest of eight children, seven sons. I loved my dad and would have done anything for him. I told him, yes, sir, I will find out. My dad's tragic experience with conventional medicine completely redirected my entire medical career. I believe no one is sick and tired because they have low levels of drugs in their body. This point was driven home to me when a patient of mine, Mrs. Jones, who lived in a retirement center by my office, came in for a follow-up visit. When I asked her how she was doing, she said, ever since I've gotten rid of all those drugs you were giving me, doctor, I feel like a million dollars. Well, this drove home the point my dad had told me. Son, don't poison your patients like all the other doctors do. I believe that drugs are poisons. Drugs are toxins that must be detoxified by the body. Drugs only mask symptoms. I believe the reason people are sick is because of an overload of environmental toxins in their cells. We're living in a sea of chemical pollutants which are found in foods that we eat, the beverages we drink, and in the air that we breathe. This toxic overload leads to a host of diseases, heart disease, cancer, diabetes, high blood pressure, degenerative arthritis, Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, multiple sclerosis, just to name a few. And pharmaceutical drugs for these conditions only add to the toxic load in your cells and make you sicker quicker. Let me tell you about drugs. Our nation, which has 5% of the population of the world, consumes 42% of all the drugs that are made and produced by pharmaceutical companies. We spend more per capita than any other nation in the world. That means we spend more health dollars per person than any other nation in the world, and we're the sickest nation in the world. We lead in the number of heart disease cases and the number of percentage of people with cancers and the host of diseases that I've just mentioned to you. I believe that your health problems aren't all in your head. 
you're not a hypochondriac. You aren't sick and tired of being sick and tired because you're simply getting older. There is a real cause for your symptoms and for the way you feel. I believe it's the responsibility of physicians to take time with their patients, asking them questions, listening attentively to their concerns. I believe that if you will eliminate junk food, replace it with natural whole foods, and take vitamins, minerals, and nutrients, then you can remove the toxins from your cells and regain your health. I also believe in replenishing the body's natural occurring hormones so that the cells and organs in your body can be rejuvenated. I believe it's possible to restore your health and transform yourself from being a sick and tired person into being a healthy and well one. I believe in offering a first class experience for my patients who we call guests. And I know that my guests appreciate this. I believe that the way a guest is treated is as important as the treatment that is prescribed. I believe that we can help people who are willing to invest in their health and who will make a commitment to take charge of their lives and follow the recommendations of the lifestyle changes we make. I believe in the free market economy and I do believe this applies to medicine and specifically to preventive medicine. I believe that insurance was meant for emergencies, not for preventive health care. I believe that you can achieve your goals and live a healthy, happy, and purpose-driven life. I believe it's time for a revolution in medicine, and at the Hotsi Health and Wellness Center, we are leading one. I believe that you should have a choice in your health care to choose natural approaches to your health. I believe that you can obtain and maintain health and wellness naturally and enjoy a better quality of life. I believe you can restore your health, that you can transform your life and renew your world naturally. This is what I want for you.